Welcome to the BMC Client Management Security Settings video. This video is about creating and managing security profiles for administrators and administrator groups. Let us first understand some basic concepts about security settings in BMC Client Management. When you install BMC Client Management, two administrator accounts are created by default, admin and system. The admin account is a super administrator account and has full capabilities and access rights on all the objects in BMC Client Management. Whereas the system account is a basic administrator account, it is disabled and has no capabilities or access rights. It is only used to indicate the objects that are created or operations performed by the system itself. For example, the admin user is created by the system. Now let us create an ad new administrator account, S. Collins, for Sarah Collins, who is an administrator for CalPro Services. After logging into the BMC Client Management Console, right-click Administrator under Global Settings and select Create Administrator. Under the General tab in the Properties dialog box, enter the basic information of Sarah. Under the Authentication tab, specify the authentication type as internal or external. If you select the internal option, you need to specify and confirm a password. This password is encrypted and stored in the BMC Client Management Database. If you select the external option, the authentication is handled by Active Directory. For the external option, if the master server is deployed on a Windows server, there is only one option, Systems. However, if the master server is deployed on a Linux server, you can either select System or PAM, which is Pluggable Authentication Modules. You can also use the local administrator account for master server to use as system authentication. For example, R. David is a local administrator on the master server, but his user account is not available in the Active Directory. You can still select R. David as an administrator with authentication type as system. For the purposes of this video, let us select authentication as internal and specify a password. Now let us define the security profile for our newly created administrator account for Sarah Collins. In order to define the security profile for our newly created administrator account, we first need to understand the security concepts used in BMC Client Management. Each admin or administrator group is assigned a security profile. The security profile is a set of configurations that decide the operations an administrator can perform on certain devices. A security profile has two major components, capabilities rights and access rights. The capabilities rights allows or denies administrators to access different nodes and their functionalities in the console. Depending on the capability type, you can allow or deny the following different rights. View. It allows administrators to view information. Manage. It allows administrators to create and view objects. Assign. It allows administrators to assign objects to other object types. For example, assign objects to compliance rules. Populate. This attribute is available for user groups, device groups, and rollouts. This attribute lets the administrator to dynamically populate objects. For example, display all devices with Windows 7. Schedule. This attribute allows the administrator to schedule system operations. Configure. This attribute is available for capabilities that have a configuration subnode. For example, you may want an administrator to be responsible for configuring mobile device management. The other component to define security profile is access rights. The access rights allows or denies administrators access to different objects and controls the ability of the administrator to perform operations on those objects. There are two ways to assign objects, static objects and dynamic objects. When you assign objects, members of which are dynamically populated, for example, member devices of a device group. These objects are called as dynamic objects. There are three ways to dynamically assign objects through a query result, folder members, or device group members. When you assign specific objects to the administrators, for example, specific devices, these objects are known as static objects. 
For each assigned object, you can control the following common permissions. Read, write, and assign. The read permission allows the administrator to only view the object details but does not allow to modify it. For example, an administrator having read permission for master server can only view the master server but cannot upgrade it. The write permission allows the administrator to not only view the object details but to also modify it. With assign permission, the administrator can view the object details and assign the object to another object. For example, an administrator has assigned permission for an operational rule. This administrator can assign the operational rule to another object such as a device, a device group or a user group. For each of these permissions, you can set any one of these three attributes allow, deny or inherit. Allow attribute as the name suggests enables the permissions on the object. Deny attribute disables the permission on the object. Inherit attribute allows or denies the access to an object based on its membership from a folder or a group. For example, if the administrator has the right permission for a device group that runs Windows 7, when a device in the Windows 7 device group has inherit permission, the administrator will automatically get write permission on this device. In addition to the above common access permission, if the object type is device or device group, there are additional permissions related to remote access of the device. These permissions include direct access acknowledgement, remote control acknowledgement, and real user rights. For direct access acknowledgement and remote control acknowledgement, you can set the permission as required, not required, inherit, or deny. If direct access or remote control acknowledgement is set as required, an acknowledgement pop-up appears on the target device. If direct access or remote control acknowledgement is set to not required, an acknowledgement pop-up does not appear on the target device. If the permission is set to inherit, the access is controlled by the group membership. If the permission is set to deny, the access is not granted. The real user rights field shows if the administrator can access the local files of a device with the access rights of a system account or only with the local account. If enabled, it limits the access to the local account access. For complete system access, do not select this field. This parameter is only applicable to the devices. Now let us assign some capabilities to Sarah. For the purposes of this video, let us make her an administrator for mobile device management. For this, we need to enable all the permissions for mobile device management capability. The permissions include view, manage, assign and configure. In addition to perform all the mobile device management operations, Sarah also needs the following additional capabilities. Directory server to synchronize and identify the admins, users and all the mobile devices registered with the directory server. Devices and device groups to view and select the available devices. License to view available and consumed license information. System variables to enable sending automatic email notifications to users device and device groups to view synchronized and managed mobile devices, inventory to collect inventory information, user and user groups to invite and manage mobile devices of the users and user groups, compliance management to assign compliance rules to managed mobile devices, query to create query for generating different reports, mobile device management, Report to generate reports to analyze different mobile device management parameters. After assigning these capabilities, now we need to assign access rights on required objects so that Sarah can effectively manage all the mobile devices. For this, first we need to allow the right permissions to Sarah on the device which will be used as a mobile device manager so that she can configure the mobile device management feature.
In addition, Sarah also needs access to the additional objects, for example, commands to create and assign commands, custom compliance to create, manage and assign compliance rules to mobile devices, dashboard to view BMC client management console dashboard, device groups to view synchronized and managed devices and device groups, profiles to create and manage and assign mobile device management profiles, queries to create and manage queries for generating reports, reports to define, generate and assign reports. Let us also assign the following dynamic objects to Sarah's user account, which will help her with mobile device management. All directory servers, all synchronized mobile devices, all commands and command folders, all mobile application folders, all mobile applications, all profile folders, and all profiles. With appropriate capabilities rights for queries, Sarah can also create custom queries as required. For example, Sarah can create a new query for all the mobile devices that are running iOS version 9. As a mobile device management administrator, Sarah does not require access to the master server. So let us prevent Sarah from accessing the master server by setting the read write and assign permissions to deny for master server for this go to the static objects tab for sarah's security profile on the console and add the master server as a static object and set the read write and assign permissions to deny as sarah is responsible for all the mobile device management operations, she might need to view the device topology. However, as she does not have even read access to the master server, she cannot view the device topology, as the master server is the root node in the device topology graph view. We can still allow Sarah to view the device topology even though she does not have enough read permissions to the master server. For this, under the global settings, navigate to the system variables, Select the security tab and select the display hidden devices in the topology graph checkbox. Now Sarah is able to view the device topology graph even if she does not have the permission to the master server. Now that Sarah has all the required permissions for capabilities and object access, she can now perform all the mobile device management administrator functions such as configuring mobile device management, inviting users to enroll the devices for mobile device management, and managing the enrolled mobile devices. We hope that this video has helped you understand the basic security settings concepts in BMC Client Management. For more information, refer to docs.bmc.com. Thank you for watching.